Hey guys, my name is Avery Rodriguez. My wife, Chris, and I are the young adults pastors in Conway at our church. And we are so pumped to be able to do an NLC Live. We, it's not we, I am. Anyway. I'm pumped to be able to do this NLC Live Devo with you. Uh, let's jump into it. The verse that we're gonna be going over is John 9 verse 31. It says this, we know that God does not listen to sinners. He does listen to people who respect him and do what he wants them to do. Wow. That's a powerful verse. Uh, John, amazing book in the New Testament, one of the four gospels. And so we know that John was one of the closest people to Jesus. And so, um, I like whenever we jump into a passage, whenever I jump into a passage, really, uh, to kind of get a little bit of context. Um, and really, this is a cool moment in the book of John because Jesus has been doing miracles. And um, at this specific point in time, he actually healed a man that was born blind. And this is important because he heals this man. And the man goes out and he's like sharing about what Jesus has done for him. And the Pharisees, these religious leaders, they get upset about it and they, they're, they're tripping. I don't know. They're upset uh, and they want to trap Jesus and, and they're just really offended by what he's doing. And it's really cool because the blind man, um, the blind man is the one who says this. So the religious leaders, that's like hilarious. Um, this guy who has never like known God throughout his life has a moment with God. And then he's like, you know, yelling at these religious leaders like, man, God is great. And we know that he doesn't listen to sinners. He listens to people who respect him and do what he wants. So we, you know, we have our five questions. Is there a command to obey, a sin to avoid, promise to claim? application to make or something new about God. And immediately what jumps out to me are something new about God and an application to make maybe, you know what I mean? Um, but something new about God, God does not listen to sinners. He listens to people who respect him right away. That jumps out to me. God has ears. He's listening. He has ears to hear, so to speak, right? He's listening for people. He's listening for his people. And that's a beautiful thing to hold on to, right? That when we pray, they don't fall on deaf ears. They don't just go to nothing, but God wants to hear from us. And I think it's incredible because it goes both ways, right? There's an application to make. And what is that? In the second half, he does listen to people who respect him and do what he wants them to do right? Who respect him and do what he wants to do. I think about like parents or authority figures. When you respect people, it changes the way that you approach them, the way you talk to them. When they ask you to do something, you follow through with it, right? And so for me, when it says that in this passage, man, I think of it as a really cool opportunity to lean into God. So during my daily life, it makes me think, how am I respecting him? It, it, am I doing what he wants for me? Am I listening to him? It, is there things that he's maybe spoken to me in my life that I've kind of learned and like put on the shelf or how can I follow through with that? So I think that's two ways that this passage could really, it really speaks to me. I, I hope it really speaks to you. Maybe you get something else out of this, but I think it's an incredible opportunity to one, if you didn't know that God listens, he listens to his people and how, or what can we do to be, a, to make that even, to be a part of that, um, is that we can respect him and we could follow through and do what he wants to do, wants us to do. Um, it's just so cool that God wants to interact with us and listen to us and give us opportunity to to really be with him. So I pray that that, that that speaks to you and that you can take this and run with it in your own life. Let me pray for you. Father, I thank you so much for your church, Lord, what you're doing in the hearts of believers, even now in this moment. 
God, I pray that you would reveal yourself like never before to your people, that you listen, God, and I pray that you would help us to have the courage to not only step out and to pray, but God, to respect and to follow through with what you want for us because you want the best for us. And so, Jesus, we thank you so much that you're a God who listens. We pray this all in your name. Amen. Amen. Appreciate you guys.